Well, things are still shifting over at 343. The layoffs were not enough. It seems like another key person in charge of the Halo franchise has left. So you guys like these news and informational videos? Make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help out the video and channel within the all famous YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe because I believe about 70 plus percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, well, you found the right place to do it. I'd like to see you come back. Anyways, guys, so into the actual info here, Frank O'Connor. You might have seen this on other channels, but Frank O'Connor, guys, this guy was a major part of Halo for the past, well, forever. And it looks like now he's no longer with Microsoft, which is kind of a huge change of pace right here. So ever since December 2003 till, well, April of this year, he was the franchise creative director of the Halo franchise. Now he's a franchise creative director somewhere else. Not even listed right here, but it looks like he's doing the same kind of job he was previously, but with a different company, which is, wow, that's a big hit of news right there. I'm not quite sure exactly how to feel about it. Uh, I mean, he's definitely went from like a member at Bungie to kind of like the head of Halo when they came from Bungie to switch over to 343. So he, I don't really see a whole lot changing, honestly, though, when it comes to Halo Infinite. Like, are we going to get infection in the game next week? Like, no, that's not how this whole thing works. What's going to happen, I believe now, is that Frank O'Connor was much more of like the ideas guy, kind of the overarching director and, and visionary of the Halo franchise. I mean, this guy definitely knows his lore and he's definitely been part of Halo for well, it's pretty much his professional career within games. How this change is going to affect Halo, it's much more in the long term future, like when the next Halo campaign happens, whenever that happens, most likely within the next four years probably he's kind of like one of the lead captains over a heading the ship kind of thing not exactly a uh, local politician helping fix the roads like you would see like if you're going to change the playlist in halo infinite he was more kind of like a congress senator kind of over back in washington dc making the decisions of whether or not people get health care long term honestly i think this might be a good move but again it's always kind of like the devil you don't know is worse than the devil you know kind of thing so you never know, you could have somebody come in and fill in the shoes, which would be just somebody who would just be just abusing the Halo franchise. Though, I do feel like under his watch that the Halo franchise has not done the best. Ever since he was put into the like creative position at 343, while well, we had Halo 4, we had Halo 5, not exactly great Halo games. Halo Infinite, on the other hand, was, I say, gameplay mechanic-wise, a really good Halo game. People pretty much all agree with that. Just the lack of features and support that Halo Infinite deserves was just not there. I know a lot of people have been asking about what's the future of Halo, especially since the campaign team was effectively cut from 343 during the Microsoft layoffs earlier this year. And I think 343 is still trying to figure out what to go next. Like right now, the near term, near future is going to be Halo Infinite. That's not changing anytime soon. I don't really expect to see any kind of change of course happening with Halo, probably not until June of 2024. That's when the fiscal rollover happens for Microsoft. And so we'll understand what the long-term future of Halo, if it's gonna be, if 343 is gonna be sticking with Halo Infinite, are they gonna downturn the support and just kind of focus more and just make it a new Halo game? We're not totally sure about that. There's a lot of uncertainties with this, but I think even 343 is uncertain about the current state of the game and what the future really holds. This news also comes right off at the heels of Joseph Staten leaving Microsoft as well. Now, Joe did leave 343, was a bank earlier this year, so he was already not part of Halo. He was going back to Microsoft Publishing, like in his previous role, but it seemed like he's kind of got to go off and do his own thing, or might have been part of like the higher up layoffs. Nothing was really specified in that situation, though I do feel like he kind of left his own, his own terms. It kind of just feels like almost that like the people who wanted Fire 343, I think effectively got it because uh, uh, pretty much all the lead people who helped create Halo Infinite are not with Halo anymore. Like if you look back at the multiplayer overview video that was released before the release of the game, pretty much everyone who's in this video is not with 343 anymore. 
which is just really weird to see a lot of long-term standing people so like tom french who's been with the 343 and halo for ever pretty much i think since 343's inception even and pretty much all the new people who came in helped finish up halo infinite all left as well it's really weird that's all i gotta say about that like i'm not quite sure exactly the motivations behind the whole thing because we'll never truly know what's going on behind closed doors unless some rogue developer decides to go with a renegade playthrough for the day and decide to air all, all the dirty laundry at 343 but i think it's kind of obvious what's going on with this franchise right now i think that just microsoft is not happy with how the state of halo infinite is right now and so they're trying to just clear in house doing a new shift of people coming in I think effectively the people who want to hashtag fire 343, you effectively got it. The name is the same, but the people changed. And pretty much everyone who's in a major leadership position, it's no longer with 343. It wasn't, and not that team who helped develop Halo Infinite. There's a whole new team now keeping, sustain, keeping the sustainability of Halo Infinite going online right now. So in the immediate future with Frank O'Connor leaving, nothing's really gonna change. I don't really see anything changing this year. The course has been set. They just need to continue on it. What's gonna happen with Halo Infinite in the long-term future, like I said, past June, 2024, when the fiscal year rolls over for Microsoft, that's when we'll really know what the future of Halo is going to be. What the long-term future is, like in the five, 10 year plan for this franchise, it's still very much up in the air, but that vision could definitely be a lot different than what maybe they thought of like what was going to be three months ago just because of how much changeover there has been at 343 how many people have gone and how the franchise needs to adapt to be able to one give players what they want but also provide something fresh and new so it's not just the same thing over and over again i think it's pretty obvious to say that it was a upper management fumble when it comes to the launch of halo infinite just because they had all the time in the world to put this game together and they barely got it out the door six years between main halo titles originally five was the plan i'm sure a lot of developers out there would dream of that much time to be able to create the next game within their franchise but upper management 343 always felt like they needed to like reinvent the wheel or put their stamp on the halo franchise in some way they always felt like they needed to do something their way to kind of show what they did with the halo franchise kind of thing rather than just like continue on the legacy and make more awesome Halo content that's already there building upon itself, kind of like what Bungie did with Halo CE through Reach. But hey, we are where we are right now when it comes to the Halo franchise. Me, I'm still gonna be uploading Halo stuff. I do have works on a second channel if you guys are curious. I'll put a link to that channel in the pinned comment down below if you guys wanna check it out. We're doing pretty much everything but Halo on that channel. But in the meantime, this is the place to come to, guys, if you want any Halo news, discussion, gameplay, pretty much everything Halo related, this is the place to be. If you wanna know what the new maps in Halo Infinite play out like right now, well, check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.